Welcome to a demonstration of the use of Zotero with OpenCongress.org. Zotero is, of course, the freely available reference manager uh, maintained by the Center for History and New Media at George Mason University, and OpenCongress.org is a site for monitoring bills as they emerge in Congress, sponsored by the Sunlight Foundation. Zotero is a Firefox plugin, and so if you haven't done so already, uh, to replicate the effects you see in this demonstration, you'll need to have the Firefox browser installed. And Zotero itself is a plugin for the Firefox browser, which is normally installed via the main project site, which we see here. We would visit the Download Now button and follow the instructions that we find under that. But for this demo, to access the OpenCongress.org site and work smoothly with that, we're going to need to use a modified version of the client, which is available here at the Citation Stylus site under Tools, MLZ Client. And so we open that page here and find the client. There's also a nice big install button here, so we're going to install a multilingual version of the client, which also provides law support that will be handy for what we're about to do here. We go through these steps to install a plugin, Firefox goes away briefly, and will return. There we are. So now we have Firefox and Zotero running, and we want to visit the OpenCongress.org site, which is here, and find ourselves a bill to refer to. We'll take the Next Generation Television Marketplace Act of 2001, an act submitted to Congress by Congress Senator from South Carolina, Jim DeMint, and we want to look at the official bill text. Here we have the text of the bill, and we can scroll down and comment directly on the text if we wish to do so. Um, but for use with Zotero, we would click on the icon that we find here, the folder icon in the address bar, and fetch a provision. And we do that like so. And you see down here on the right part of the screen there's a bit of activity and we see that we've gotten a large number of provisions. What is all of that about? We wonder, so make that go away and bring up the Firefox browser, uh, bring up the Zotero client either by clicking on the Zotero icon or by clicking Control alt z and we see that we have a number of items here. One of the items is the actual act itself, the section 2 of the act, um, and we have a number of other provisions. These are the related provisions, sections of the US code that would be modified by this legislation. And the amending act here, and the related provisions here are cross-linked so that we can easily navigate between the two. Each of the items uh, contains uh, either an image or a link. The amending provision itself is linked to the text of the provision, which we can see here. This is section 2 of the amending act which refers to a number of sections of the US code that would be affected. And bringing Zotero back here, under the US code provisions, we have links that will take us, if we click on them, to the relevant sections of the US code in the Cornell LII uh, repository. And so if we wish to read the provisions of the Act and then quickly identify what their effects are in legislation, we can do so by those means. Now, if we wish to read this Act, analyze it, and then produce a memo or an article or other content that cites into it, we would want to do that in a word processor. And in order to make that work smoothly, we will want to install a word processor plugin and the multilingual client uses the same word processor plugin as Zotero proper. So we return now to the Zotero official site, click on the download now button, 
and scroll down to the word processor plugins for Firefox and click on that link and the word processor plugins for my word processor that I'm going to use in this demo is LibreOffice so we click on that again we allow and we will be invited to install and to restart and the installation process will complete after Firefox returns in a moment here. There we are. So now we have the Firefox uh, plugin installed and it's offering to complete the installation uh, by installing some auxiliary software in the LibreOffice installation itself. First it finds where that's located on the system. As it happens I already have this uh, the additional components installed so I'm going to cancel here. If this was a first time install and I would click next and then you would wait for a few minutes while the relevant software is installed. We're going to move on. Oops. Cancel. And OK to cancel to make it go away. Now we should be ready to look into a document which is here, and we're going to put some citations into the memo that we write about this particular piece of legislation. The first thing we need to do is select a citation style, and the citation style that we want to use for this is the uniform system of citation, which we don't have in the list, so we're going to return to our browser and return to the citation stylus site and go to styles and find the uniform system of citation style which is Wisconsin court style which I've named in uh, given this name for uh, trademark reasons and if we click here while we're in Firefox we will install the, so the style so now the style should be installed and ready to go let's see if we can pick it up back in the word processor so we go here we select styles and we scroll through our list and there it is MLZ Wisconsin court style this is quite a large style it's quite complex it will take some time to install but in a few seconds we should be going there we are and now we want to use this style to cite into the document so I click on the insert citation link and I get this and here's the familiar display of our statutory provisions which is here and as you can see we have a correctly formatted uh, uniform system of citation site to the section 2 which is the section that we downloaded if we uh, cite other provisions, the U one of the US code provisions is cited in the legislation we also get a correct site to this US code is not entirely correct. We'll be revisiting that in a second here. And we'll do a back reference to another section of the act, another section of the code, and we find that we got a correct, correctly formatted back reference. Okay, some of this formatting isn't quite correct. Senate should be S period in this style, and Congress, uh, US code should be um, USC. So let's see if we can fix that up a little bit. Um, to do that, we need another facility from the Citation Stylus site, and that is abbreviations for Zotero. So we're going to um, install the abbreviations plugin and allow this. We're going to install now and restart. And when Firefox returns now, there will be uh, the uh, Zotero instance, the multilingual Zotero instance that's running on the browser. We'll have the ability to maintain uh, abbreviations for particular phrases that occur in uh, legislation and other citation forms. To access the abbreviations facility, we edit a site. So we click on the site here. We open the edit citation link and we should get our panel after things warm up here a bit and we see we have the abrevs link here so we click on this and we get a list we get a, an empty list 
but we have a number of abbreviations uh, categories available. One of those is um, um, institution parts, which we see we don't have. Just a moment. Come back here, let's try refreshing. If we refresh our sites, we should be able, oops, hold on, we should be able to edit the site, click on our abbreviations, and there we are. Um, having refreshed, we're now ready to go. These are jurisdiction categories, and we only want this abbreviation to apply in the U.S. jurisdiction, so we put an S there. And U.S. Congress in citations, American citations, should be abbreviated Kong. And we have one other category here, which is journals and reporters, and U.S. code, as we said earlier, should be USC, and that is now fixed. If we approve those, and then clear our display, we can now refresh the citation, and it comes into the correct form. Um, this uh, shows, uh, so we have seen, uh, if we return to our site of interest, um, we have seen that we can access the legislation um, available on the Open Congress site. I'll pull that, le pull that legislation out with affected provisions and then cite it into documents um, with one-click access to citation forms with correct back-referencing and formatting. Um, in Nagoya, Japan, this is Frank Bennett. Good day!